Welcome to BPI TV. I'm Cheryl Scott, Senior Technical Editor of Bioprocess International, and I'm here talking today with Jean-Marc Capia, who is Head of Vaccine Segment Marketing uh, for Startory Studium Biotech, which is a recognized leader in single use, um, and has recently introduced a sort of ad com a campaign focusing on four particular areas, and I thought maybe you could tell us about those. Yeah, so we, are, we have been launching this, uh, this broad campaign for, for the last uh, six months with the BPI as a key partner. And with this campaign, we want to focus on the, on the foundations for, for, for single use. And we are addressing four of the key challenges that our industry has seen when implementing uh, single use in uh, commercial production. Uh, there are the automations, uh, the biocompatibility, the integrity, and the supply network. Okay. Um. Let's, th let me ask you about biocompatibility. What are the main issues with it? What sort of, how do you define it? Yeah, so w our industry is using more plastic components and plastic materials and resins. So we want to make sure that uh, our uh, materials and components and single use systems are compatible with the biologics. That, that means that uh, they do not alter the, uh, the efficacy, the, uh, the quality uh, and, and the safety of the biologics. Okay. Um, Oh, well, leach leachables, extractables, and particulates come into that. Yeah, th that's, uh, as an example, yeah, we uh, uh, part of the uh, uh, potential interactions with, uh, with the biologics could be uh, extractables uh, released from the, uh, from the, the films and the, and the components or uh, particles. And uh, extractables and particles are inherent to single use. So right. there's no way that we can, uh, uh, we can avoid them. So, but then one need to characterize them and to uh, control them to make sure that they are consistent from one lot to, to the other. Yep, and I think you're working with some industry standards groups on, on that topic. Exactly, yeah, because um, in fact we are we're trying to establish consensus standard in the, in the industry for, for, for extractable, leachable, and, and, and visible particles. So we have been working and leading a, a, a working group together with the ISTM. Of course, we are also part of the, of the BPSA association. Okay. We are part of the BPOG. Yep. So we are working with all these um, uh, associations, but also with the uh, standardization body like the ISTM to make sure that uh, we can provide consensus standard to help the end users uh, uh, validating their single use technologies and being in line with the regulatory uh, authorities requirements. So we hear a lot about product integrity when we hear talking about um, uh, single use technologies and, and let's kind of define that and see what's the take on it. Yeah, so now single use technologies are used in more critical, critical process steps and they're also used in, uh, in commercial production. So uh, one expect to have more robust products and also to get some proof of integrity uh, and again uh, uh, versus the, uh, the regulatory authorities. So uh, product integrity starts first with uh, applying quality by design. You want to produce very robust products like films, components, tubing, uh, and uh, bags and, and final assemblies. Uh, you also need to have a very strong control of your manufacturing process. Absolutely. But at the end, for very critical applications like the, uh, the downstream uh, uh, process steps or the final feeding, uh, we also have requirement for uh, 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 integrity testing 100% into our production. And for this, we have uh, developed uh, a helium-based uh, supplier integrity testing. Uh, there is a detection limit of two micron, and this two micron detection limit uh, is correlated to uh, liquid leaks and uh, microbial ingress. So, uh, which means that when we test our products with this two micron helium integrity testing, we can guarantee that there will be no leak and no microbial penetration uh, during their usage. Absolutely. Um, one thing I think is um, unique about Sartorius is that you work with your plastic suppliers uh, to get them to do what bioprocessing needs, and that's kind of out of out of the ordinary because it's a small segment of their world. Yeah, exactly, and uh, this uh, this comes to this uh, uh, assurance of quality supply concept. So we want to have uh, a control of our uh, uh, suppliers to make sure that we get the right level of uh, uh, quality and specification for our resins, for our films, and, and our tubings. So by doing this, we can better control our manufacturing process, right. uh, and we can also uh, guarantee not only the change control but also the uh, uh, long-term business continuity. Because, for instance, uh, we have established together with our uh, films suppliers and resin suppliers, a contract in which we can guarantee four years of unchanged uh, resin specification. Uh, for other uh, m less critical components like uh, uh, the fittings, the connectors, we have a two years uh, change notification. And, uh, and with this, we, we, ca we can really offer change control and long-term business continuity to our uh, customers. That's the best. Thank you. And actually, do you want to talk about some of the general benefits of single-use technology? 
for yeah, the I mean, customers? Yeah, I mean, single-use technologies have been on the market now for, let's say, two, three decades. Right. Uh, at the beginning, uh, we were uh, uh, pushing this technology in non-critical applications, mainly for the, for the storage of uh, buffers and medium. Yep. Uh, now, these uh, technologies have uh, moved uh, into different process steps uh, in commercial production for covering uh, other applications, uh, like the, uh, the bioreaction, the harvest, the mixing, uh, the freezing, the sampling, so okay. uh, down to the final filling. So everything is now <coughs> uh, uh, feasible in, in, in a single-use way. And the main reason why single-use have been so successful is that they really address the, uh, the challenges of our, of our customers. Uh, if I r recall the challenges, we are uh, looking at the industry uh, with the key goals to uh, uh, make more drug available and more affordable. So single-use technologies together, like, uh, uh, together with um, uh, process intensification, for instance, have uh, been uh, one way uh, to uh, uh, meet those challenges. And uh, uh, today, with single-use, we see that our industry can go faster. Uh, they can get cheaper uh, uh, production. Uh, it increases the flexibility. And right. ultimately, it also uh, improves safety because you avoid cross-contaminations. Yep. Thank you so much for being with us. You're um, welcome. For talking. Yep. This is Cheryl Scott. Um, thank you for watching VPI TV.